Hi guys, Dorian here from Blades and Triggers and today we're going to be looking at some really cool less lethal self-defense products. Firstly, what we have here is everyone's uh, favorite less lethal home defense Spider Victor. So these over here come out in a few different colors and they are all available on the website if you want to have a look at the different colors. Today we've got the nice red one and the full black one as well. Um, a bit about these markers over here is that they are your entry level uh, to intermediate. You can use them for paintball as well as less lethal home defense. Some of the rounds that you can shoot out of them, everyone's favorite pepper balls. Uh, these are 0.68 caliber. And then we also have your solid nylon balls. Those are gonna hurt when you get hit with them. Um, the cool thing about these Spider Victors is the fact that they can actually take a hopper which allows you to shoot up to 200 rounds at any given time. This is the CO2 canister that we recommend going with it. This is the 12 ounce. These are also filled with an eco valve. So there's an eco valve inside here which allows you to get up to 1,600 shots off some of your bigger CO2 canisters, which makes it really, really cool and awesome to actually use. Um, easy to use, a little safety here by the trigger, it's a two finger trigger and to load the actual device it's just pulling back on the bolt system over here. Once you screw your canister in, you pull back your bolt, your hopper will be on with your rounds, off safety and then ready to shoot. So it would actually do that, but with a canister it'll make a bit of a bigger noise. There is also a velocity adjustment at the back over here with an Allen key and instructions all inside the box over here. In the box, you also get a cool barrel plug, very important, because when you're not using the device, we do recommend that you put that inside just for safe keeping. But yeah, guys, that's the Spider Victor. So guys, the other options that we have here for our less lethal home defense um, is the two pistols in front of me. So one is the Tipman TIPX, and the other one is everyone's favorite, the Humorex HDR50. Starting off with the Tipman TPX, Quite a nice build on this, very solid pistol. Yes, a lot of people are gonna say, but it's big and that. Ideally, bigger is better in some cases. So, with regards to the Tipman TPX, it has a bayonet style uh, pin in the front, which you use to actually release the 12 gram CO2 canister. So that's a little canister that actually runs off. It'll go nipple first into the actual gun, and then you replace your little bayonet style on there. For safety purposes, we are gonna leave the CO2 canister out so that we can demonstrate the rest of the product. The other cool thing about the Tipman TPX is if you go for the standard pack in the hard case, it comes with two magazines. These are seven round magazines in each. So two of them that comes with in the box kit. Tipman TPX also comes out in other colors, a green and a gray, and then the full black. Now, one of the fan favorites on this specific model is it has little windows on the side. Now those windows are generally to tell you when your pepper ball is actually gonna come out. So they are red in color so that you can see them a bit better. And then 68 cal solid nylons as well. With a canister, if you leave it on the factory setting at around 270 feet per second, you'll probably get a good two magazines if not a third magazine as well. But if you do do the velocity upgrade on this, you will only get two magazines out of this pistol. So anywhere from 270 up to about 350 feet per second, once it's tweaked on a 68 caliber, it's gonna equal to about 15 joules on average, and that's really gonna pack a punch. In the TPX kit, you also get a little service pack. So your barrel plug in orange, plus your squeegee if you do ever use it for paintball, and then the grease and little Allen key set to clean and disassemble your pistol. However, we do recommend that you bring it back to us if anything does go wrong. Then, my other favorite is the Humorex HDR50. Now, this one over here shoots a slightly smaller ball than this. This is a 50 cal, which means that the bullets are a bit smaller. And on this model over here, it's got a six shot rotary magazine. So the cool thing about this is you can purchase these additional. They do come out in two packs and that way you can keep them spare. But on the Humorex HDR50 with a mag out in that, this one has a quick pierce function. So at the back over here, looks like a little bubble. 
that over there helps you that you can actually keep the canister in at all times and only when you need it do you actually slap the bottom of it and the little pin will pop out now with this over here it also has a cool picatinny rail on top and at the bottom so if you want to put any accessories a red dot scope maybe a cool torch or laser combo at the bottom and this also comes with a little allen key so generally the allen key we use to unscrew the bottom over here and then you can finger tighten it or use the allen key just to give it that little bit extra on it and then of course the warranty and instruction manual but yes the Umarex hdr 50 is one of the most powerful pistols that you'll actually find in blades and triggers for less lethal self-defense uh, this pistol over here actually shoots just under 500 feet per second so really a monster of a pistol the next lot that we are having a look at is going to be more the items that you can actually keep on you personally hide in your car door maybe keep in a handbag so to start off with we're going to start off with a fan favorite the stun gun 800 type stun gun the cool thing about these over here is that they come in a cool little pouch so you can stick it in your belt um, and they are fully rechargeable so 800 type stun gun is basically that big i mean it's the size of my palm of my hand and the cool thing about it is on stage one you actually get a little torch on there so you can use it at night when you're walking your dog maybe taking a short jog those type of things when you activate the second time a little red light comes on and if you press the actual button with your assailant it's going to make something like this so really cool device um, these over here are rated at about 30,000 kilovolts um, and then just to show you where to charge it that is a two-prong plug with a little figure eight adapter and that literally just plugs in there charge it for about four hours a little red light will come on and then ready to use so everyone's favorite and one of ours is the ballistic 100 mil pepper spray these are really cool this is the biggest one in a portable size that you can stick in your pocket handbag vehicle and so forth so these over here do come out in other sizes a 20 mil keyring one as well as a 40 mil 60 mil and then of course this is the 100 mil still not very big i mean it's the size of my hand um, the cool thing about these over here is that it is a direct stream so with it being a direct stream you face less chance of it actually coming back at you if you do end up spraying an assailant this is called the leather billy or a leather slapper these are designed purely as something to strike your opponent with so they've got a little lanyard if you call it that you stick your hand in and inside here is almost like a metal ball bearing um, a lot of these come out in different types sizes and shapes so you get them in a slightly bigger slightly smaller you get them with bigger ball bearings heavier ones but yes this is designed purely to give your attacker whatever it may be a good knockout um, if you end up hitting someone with this over here i can guarantee you now it's going to cause some damage so something also again you can stick into your pocket it's not that big um, it's slightly bigger than what your 100 mil pepper spray is so again it's it's something that's portable you can keep it in your vehicle then we've got some other items over here so probably wondering what this shiny little cool silver keyring looking item is this is a small cubaton what these are generally used for is anything in terms of pressure points so if you do the right training with a device like this you can almost disarm or take down an assailant of any size so really cool just a little gimmick gadget that you can keep on your key rings and that which is quite fantastic um, it's something that is unique to a lot of things then i'm going to leave these to last because they're one of my favorite but something else that we have it's not a lightsaber but uh, definitely something that is cool again this comes out with a pouch a little belt loop that you can carry it on you this is the extendable baton um, this is a 21 inch so nice decent size if you do need to get up and close with an attacker as well uh, good for collarbones knees rib cages elbows those type of things uh, one thing that we do like about them is the grip this over here being the sponge grip uh, rather than the rubber grip uh, you also get them in different sizes 16 inch uh, which is slightly smaller and then the big 26 inch so on to our next cool item so this is the hy x10 stun gun the cool thing about these is is that they're a little bit bigger than your normal baby one 
um, they also come out with an additional feature of a brighter torch and it being extendable so this has an aluminium frame which means again you can end up striking an opponent with it to activate it there's a button at the back which you would switch on there's two lights over here one is a green light if you do press the bottom button till it gets to red if you press the top button it'll then activate the electricity on it uh, if you press the bottom button again you actually get to the torch which also has a cool strobe mode in it two make it smaller twist make it smaller close and then when you're storing it away just remember to switch it off over here inside the box you also do get a charger which does come out as a two pin adapter pretty cool and that just plugs into the side of your actual device over here so very easy and simple to actually charge it so onto my last product that we have on the table today handcuffs why handcuffs as a cool self-defense thing because we know once you put a criminal down you need something to tie them up with now the cool thing is these over here are all um, clip-on ones and they come out with the keys specifically over here and then you get them in different colors as well you get them in different styles so these have the chain in the middle you also get them with the hinge as well but once these are on they are not coming off and they're actually well priced in terms of what you're looking at in terms of quality that you're getting it's simple to undo them it's with the key pop it in twist it and they will actually come loose but once they're on i can tell you now no one's going to be getting these little bad boys off there's also a little pin at the back of the key which has a little slot over here and if you press that in you actually lock the handcuff and that way assailants can't squeeze it tighter on their hands and it will prevent them from bleeding if it is too tight but yeah that's all from this little shot over here on some of our really cool portable devices last product i have for us today is going to be this really cool hdb so this is also a device made by humorex and the cool thing about this little guy over here is okay it's not little but it's little um, is the fact that it's made out of a polymer frame which makes it really light to actually carry around now you'll see that this one looks like it doesn't have an actual butt stock at the back and that's purely because it's supposed to be as compact as possible this little guy over here runs off your little 12 gram co2 canisters which will also fit into your handle it's also equipped with a quick pierce mechanism which is going to be again one of your best features on this gun most co2 gas pistols or rifles in that once you put the gas in and it's pierced in there it only lasts you a certain time with these over here you pop them in and then only when you're needing to use the product will you actually slap it and a little pin will pop out the back like most of your hd series from humorex this specific device over here will load 16 rounds and that's simply by pulling back the loading chamber locking it in place and underneath over here is where you put your 68 cal peppers solid nylons whatever other type of 68 cal uh, ammunition you find and when you're done you need to release this little piece over here to hold the ammo so that it can actually go in it's fitted with a safety on the trigger which is pretty cool and it has a sling adapter on the side this guy comes in at 16 joules of energy which is going to make it extremely powerful it's also got standard sights on it but as always Humorex will never ever let you down they do have a picatinny rail on top so that you can put those red dot sights or um, just a normal tube or magnified sight on it it also has a really cool flash suppressor which is made of metal so if you do need to actually strike someone at close distance you can do it with this guy but yes that is the hdb 68 from the t4e range and uh, part of humorex got to get your hands on one of these they are absolutely fantastic so guys thanks for joining us here at blades and triggers we really hope that these videos are going to help you out and uh, we really hope to see you in any of our 15 stores around south africa